Hello and welcome back to my channel. Man, it has been a long time since an unhyphen reaction. Uh, Fever, I think, was the last thing that I did, which just feels like an eternity ago. I know that they had this comeback. I found out, uh, you know, weeks after it happened, and we're finally, finally getting to it. I'm very, very late on it, so uh, I'm excited regardless because I've enjoyed everything that I've heard from this group, so looking very much forward to it. I am kind of percolating in my head what the best albums of the year are, and I'm trying to get to a lot of the ones that I've missed. Theirs being one of them, do you think that they sit up there with your favorites of um, of the year? I'd like to know because it'd be something I'm interested in doing on Patreon possibly. So let's go. Let's do it. Tamed Dashed, which is a very uh, clever, clever uh, name for, for their name and hyphen. Let's go. Still don't know any of these guys' names, unfortunately, because I suck. That's an old football. Oh, that's the past. That is the past. Look at his outfit. Look at his loafers. Old ass football. Oh, or is it a rug? Is that a rugby ball? Maybe. Maybe it's not an old ass football. Maybe it's a rugby ball. And I'm just. Oh, this is a bright song. What? High school concept. This is a rugby ball, isn't it? Oh my god, I love that low synth bass line. Honestly, it looks like they were floating. Someone, please explain it to me in words. What is it? about these melodies about just that the song itself that is so high high b big hit it t you you can connect txt and an hyphen with the way that this sounds completely i just can't put it into words i don't know what it is if it's their kind of the way the vocal melodies work or what i don't know i don't know but i love it <laughs> Sick transition. I think there is some time play going on here. I mean, they are vampires. It's, it's in the chorus. Those outfits are bold. It looks like leather skirts. They're like, oh, it's, they're not, you know, not skirts, but I'm sure they have a name that I just don't know of. Oh, sign that guy in the Mets. He's got an arm. Oh, the heavy synth bass line is so sick in this track. I really keep like that.
Ah, see, these have to be like their past selves. God, the clarity of this video too. It really is like a summer track. But didn't this come out like way after? It wasn't that long ago. God, even the, the beats in the back sound like an 80s track. Oh. Almost looked like they were looking down at their old selves there. Oh, what is going on with this story? There's one issue I still have with this group and it's not their fault he's taking his ball and he's going home what is happening are they trying to connect because suddenly with txt and the frost envy you've got the the star seekers or something and now you've got the blood altar dark moon what what are all why are these read like uh freaking like rl stein titles <laughs> or something or like it's a it's like a, a young adult novel um anyway what i was gonna say about uh the group and the issue that i sometimes still have and it's not something that makes me not want to listen to the music it's just something i constantly always wish was different and it's that when it comes to the mixing there's this filter on their vocals in most of their songs that i just don't know why it, i i can't even describe exactly what it is but it make it's not an auto tune it makes it sound a little hazy filtered or distant in some way that i i, I just don't know why they exactly do it uh, i i've never really heard their live vocals i'm i'm sure that they're very proficient singers but that's one thing that i'm hoping as uh you know they're a very young group but they go on uh in their careers that starts to change with with the mixing because it, it's always it always bothers me a little bit because i want to hear a, a vocalist raw voice like damn i i want i want to hear them piped come out clean uh and not with a filter over them so that's the one like issue that i have but otherwise with this song in general i thought it was very very fun really upbeat uh when I guess you could say some of their other ones were upbeat as well, but they have a, a dark slant on them for sure, uh, with the whole uh, you know vampire uh, theme over everything. This one was a lot more just fun on its face, uh, and was very much a summer track in the way that it felt, and them yelling summer constantly, even though this yeah was released in uh, October. But with an October release, you would think with a group that has a vampire concept, man, maybe they'd go for like a dark Halloween aesthetic, but that's that's pretty much most of their MVs, um, which I totally love. I really like that they're going with that as their core concept. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys thought. I'm sorry that I'm super, super late to this. Uh, and let me know about uh, the album that they have come out with this year and whether you think that that's something that would be on your like top three, top five. And if so, if I get enough responses, maybe that's something I do on Patreon this month because I'm trying to really lay down a lot of album reactions on there to catch up so I can do my like best of the year awards at the beginning of January properly with uh, some more knowledge. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my other Unhyphen videos down below in the description. I got a little playlist down there for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.